Hey ho, uh, full throttle kind of guy, checking in, it's Saturday. Uh, beautiful day, it's supposed to be on and off rain today, but I'm taking my shot while I can. I don't want to be in the house. Hopefully you don't want to be in the house either and you're like, maybe chomping at the bit. It's still April, I know it's still early. Car show season hasn't started yet, but a lot of our cars tend to sit. We don't drive them all the time. Mine sits under a carport and whatnot. My Galaxy sits in the garage. What do you do? How do you start getting ready for this kind of stuff? Well, I got a little short video that kind of talks about, hey, here's just a couple of things. I'm gonna call it my five minute series. Really just don't try to do it all at one time because then you're gassed and you can't enjoy yourself. You burn a part of the day you know, doing you know, things like this. Or if you wanna, hey, cool. That you can knock out a bunch of different things, just do five minute, 10 minute jobs and kind of you know reassess where you're at and it motivates you, it kind of keeps you going. So I'm gonna be working on the dark today. So you're gonna get yes, you're gonna to get to see the dark. So, anyways, um, one thing is um, chrome on like valve covers and air cleaners. If you're parked outside and again, I'm in Oregon, so it, it rains just a little bit. Condensation and other junk build up on there. And especially when it's that offshore knockoff crap chrome, it, it just looks like, you know, heck, I get it. So what do you do? Well, using just some simple hand tools and items you can get from your local automotive store or Walmart or whomever, you can get it, you know, for under 10, 20 bucks. So I'm gonna go over the, the, the lineup real quick and then we'll take a crack of like at a valve cover and then I'll be sure to do a time lapse because, you know, I hate when it's like, I'm, it's monotonous, it's just some dude just going, I, I just, let's get to it. Anyways, here we go. I'm gonna show you the, the, the lineup real quick. Okay, here are the, the items I'm, I'm gonna use and, and some of these are gonna be typical household items. You know, your microfiber cloth, you can get that anywhere, you buy it in bulk, whatnot. Um, I'm using this uh, metal polish. It's good for different kind of metals and whatnot, you know, especially chrome. But the, the star of the show is going to be this. I know it's this garment pad. People are going to be like, yeah, well, SOS pad that's, you know, groundbreaking. It's a quadruple ot or four zero uh, steel wool. This is gonna be the tool that's gonna to save the day. And then use a little glass cleaner. Cause what I wanna do is since the surface of the valve cover itself is a little bit on the corroded side, I wanna get all the dust and all the loose particles off. I don't wanna, you know, grind dirt and other trash in there. So at least I'll wipe it down prior to, and that's and part of the reason for the terry cloth towel itself. You can use a paper towel to wipe it off too, but it, that tends to pick up a lot of trash. So there's that. So. This will be the valve cover itself. I'll just, you know, do like an example, like half the valve cover, but you can see it's got all that flacoctus on it, all that water spots, and you know, there's some rust and some pitting and all that. Um, I worked on the valve cover a little earlier, and it does look pretty, pretty snazzy, so I like that. So there's that. Another thing I was gonna talk about when it comes to routine maintenance, I cleaned out the inside, I vacuumed, it had been vacuumed in, a, as they say, a New York minute, so it was pretty filthy in here. So I was able to, you know, kind of get this, you know, stepped out on the inside. It really isn't that bad of a looking car. Uh, another thing as far as your quick fixes, or you know, quick quick jobs, do take some time. I mean, these dashes, they're, they're hard to come by. This one has a couple of, you know, little, little pops and cracks, but nothing that really takes away from the functionality and the the beauty of the, the design itself. So instead of you know, spraying it down after you've cleaned all your glass and whatnot, which aggravates you, go to your local dollar twenty-five general. It used to be dollar store. Pick up one of these. What you're gonna do is you'll spray your vinyl protectant on it and you'll make large passes. Instead of spraying it on here, you get the backsplash, it messes up your window and you're cleaning your window all over again. So this will really, you know, spiff it up. So, you know, anybody knows how to do that. So I'm not gonna bother showing you that I'm out of respect for your intelligence and, and your, you know, your ability. But like I said, think 
and work smarter, not harder. So, you know, little things like this can really go a long way. So I'm going to use that to do up my vinyl and do it in a quick, you know, paths and whatnot. So um, I'll go ahead. Let me get set up and we'll make the magic happen on the valve cover. I'll be right back. To quote just Mopar Joe, hey, Mopar people. Okay, if you've got an A body and you've made it to this part of the video, I've got some hidden content. You've just unlocked a secret code. Check this out. Okay, you know, my, my penchant for the Freedom Harbors and whatnot. Well, they sell these attachments you can get for your shop vacs, right? And you're gonna be like, okay, whoop de do. What about it? I'm glad you asked. Check it out. One of the nemesis on, on Mopars, and if you had a Mopar, and it's been any time in the weather, and it's an older Mopar, you got rust issues and, and whatnot. You don't think you do, unless you know this car's been hermetically sealed and never seen the light of day, or bad weather, you've got rust somewhere out there. One area that people don't think of or don't see, like the old saying goes, out of sight, out of mind. Check it out. In your cowl area, where a lot of the rust and leaves tend to build up, why is that? Well, sometimes people don't clean their drain holes. These drain from the cowl area portion itself. Leaves will get up in this bad boy right here and pine needles and other whatnot, right? So, how do you get it out? I saw during a heater core replacement video, some guy was really smart about it. He used a leaf blower and blew it out and in the heater box systems and the air system itself, there's vent doors where all that junk will blow. You just go in there and police it up afterwards. But what you're gonna miss is your alleys. I know you're gonna be like, alley, what the hell are you talking about? I just, I'm gonna flip this around real quick so I can get myself positioned better for you. All right, guys, check it out. Use my flashlight so you can kind of see. See that hole right there? Your finger can get in there. Well, the holes from that one kit can fit in there as well, too. And if you look, there's leaves and trash and needles in there. And there's one all the way on the passenger side, too. A lot of people miss it because, you know, there's junk in the way or you don't think about it again you know the old philosophy out of sight out of mind again welcome to oregon look how bright it got all of a sudden so that's something you may want to you know, consider doing as part of your preventative maintenance the reason why i like to do the shop vac is because it also has the exhaust you can run that as an exhaust to blow that junk up out of there to break it loose make sure that it's free or you can get like a, a wire or stick your little pinky in there and go to town and you know, who knows what kind of cuckoos are in there, man. So homeboy don't like jamming his finger in holes because you never know what's in there. But uh, one little tip. So if you made it this far of the video, a little hidden gem. Let's help prevent rust in these bad boys. And, you know, instead of putting money towards rust repairs or ignoring rust, put it towards speed parts and you'll feel. So here's what I'm talking about. If you've got that fresh air system, this is a non-AC car. Thank God. I hate working on AC cars. They're a pain in the ass. But there's your vent, and you can already see I've got some flacoctus down there for me, you know, cleaning earlier. So empty these things out, man. They look like rat's nests sometimes, and sometimes you will find a rat in there or a mouse. So if a mouse goes outside, it turns into a rat. But if a rat moves into a car, is it a mouse again, or is it something else that we haven't classified yet? Besides a car destroyer that, you know, tears through wiring, headliner, and upholstery, and you know, makes the car all stinky. That's something to ponder. But there you go, that's your vents. And then that's the driver's side. So get the crack of lack and get your junk out of there so you can feel your fresh air blowing on your, your feet and your faces and you know, feeling all super sexy and stuff. Good to go. So anyways, congratulations. You found a hidden segment in this video. Okay, gang, trust me when I tell you it's me. Uh, the angles I get myself into just for you guys. It's because I care, because I, I love you and there's a deep, found respect and, 
you know, admiration for my fellow car people. So this doesn't apply to also valve covers that happen to be mounted in the car itself too. You could have got a nice swap meet score and they need a little bit of love and attention. Hey, you can do this as well too. So don't think any application of the cars, but like I said, where we're talking about doing something down dirty fast, hey, do something in your car, get it ready for show season. When you pop that hood, you know, you're not, you know, looking, look, looking in regret, you know, and people, you know, do, do tend to judge other people's rides, even though it's kind of tacky to do that kind of thing. I don't do that. I mean, hey, whatever you show up with, I respect. So enough with my talking, I'll be doing a speed up thing on this. So, you know, again, it's kind of barn watch that some guy do manual labor. Okay, it already looks a lot brighter. I don't know if you could even see it from here, but uh, that's one of the nice things about, you know, trying to stay on top of things. I've not cleaned these valve covers before. This is pretty much the way I got it with the car. So these are really like super generic -y, you know, offshores or whatever they are. I would like a set of direct connections or some good old Mickey Thompson's, but it's an upgrade for another day. So just apply your chrome polish, you know, rather uh, briskly on the valve cover and then take your, your triple four or your quadruple at and go to town. So again, I'll be fast forward into this as well too. Okay, that's just a couple of seconds of work and whatnot. Don't go too heavy with the steel wool because it will leave light and really super fine scratches, but more polish can you know, take those out or at least reduce them. So uh, I'll go ahead and let it kind of haze over a little bit. Then I'll hit it with the microfiber cloth and you know we'll see what's shaking from there, bacon. Well, I'll get a close up now, but you're gonna see if there's a nice difference. That's why I left the tape there. And remember, this is only one pass. You can make numerous passes to get it even nicer looking. But this is me, you know, whipping out the tape so you can kind of see the, the payoff. Everybody loves that payoff, right? Divided line. It's a little bit on the crooked side, but hey, you know, but look, you can see my big old melon head there, you know, waving back at you. So yeah, there you go. Just a quick, you know, five minute thing. But depending upon how messed up your valve cover gaskets are, it, it might be time to do some preventative maintenance again. That always tends to be a common thing. But when you're a car person, you gotta think about it because otherwise it's gonna come to bite you in the in the tokus there. So Again, you can do your valve cover gaskets. Uh, you can then clean up your valve covers while they're off the car. And, you know, as they say in the military, do a nice little GI party. So, there you have it. Apologize for the sun again, but, you know, again, welcome to Oregon and it's schizophrenic weather. So, there we have it. The hidden gem within the video itself. So, if you kind of like didn't skip around you'll see that but other words now i've got valve cover some simple chrome cleanup you can do hey get out there do something in in the old car there make it look super sexy and then take it out for a spin and, you know show it off don't be too reluctant to then pop the hood now, sometimes our cars kind of need a bit of love and attention but dude it's almost cruising season make it happen get out there and have some fun so i'm gonna let you guys do what you do the best and get to it Thanks again for stopping by. Again, thanks for the new subscribers and helping me grow. 
so close to that 140, 150. Let's let's make it happen. If you happen to stop by through the old, you know, like, give me a thumbs up, give me a comment, you know, subscribe. You know, I'm not gonna be like, hey, ring the bell too. You know how to find me. I'll always be here for you. So, peace out. Have a good weekend. Keep the rubber side on the road. Keep it out of the ditches. Again, if you're in a ditch, hey, check your AAA coverage. Anyways, bye.